right, guys. So it's been a minute, but it took me a minute to get into the doctor's office. So um, to make an appointment, that is. But I am leaving the doctor's office, um, and looks like we are about to start treatment. So when I get in my car, or when I'm not walking, I guess I will update you guys on all the details we went over. This metformin keeps staying in play. They won't let me get rid of it. So I'll update you on that as well. All right, so as you saw in the previous clip, I'm at the dentist now, but um, a couple hours ago, I was leaving the fertility specialist and basically we're starting treatment. So that's good, we're moving forward. Um, so basically I haven't, I still haven't had a cycle on my own yet. Um, the only cycle I have had in, I want to say now it's around six, seven, eight, nine, between six and 10 months. I don't know, but in the six to 10 months, um, since August, the only cycle that I have had was induced by Provera from March when they prescribed that to me. So she prescribed that to me again. Um, she took a blood test today just to confirm I'm not pregnant. Um, she went over my HSG results, which were good. Um, my tubes are clear, so, you know, there's nothing to worry about there. Um, and what else was I going to say? Tubes are clear, HSG. She took a blood test to make sure I'm not pregnant. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start the Provera. Um, granted they give me a call and let me know that i'm not pregnant which i i don't think i am so um once i start the provera again it's going to take the 10 days for me to start the cycle um if not a little longer once i do start the cycle then they will prescribe me the letrozole the letrozole is like days three through five five three through seven i think of my cycle and in one of those days i'm not really sure yet but one of those days um she's going to um give me the trigger shot or she said that jordan has to give me the trigger shot when i'm at home so you guys will probably see that too um so most of this stuff i think i've already uh discussed like the process that we're going to be on be in it's just today it was actually confirmed that okay we have all the tests the blood work that we need to move forward so we're going to start it um i think that this video is going to be included with clips of the process because those updates may be a little too short just to make a whole video out of it by itself so um yeah you guys will see either way but if i do decide to make clips out of this video please stay tuned and watch the following clips bye my buddy oh okay i think this is a i don't know who this is but b103 is jumping today y'all Oh wait, this ain't even be 103, it's 107.5. Okay, so I'm just coming on for a quick update. I know I'm in my car again. I'm always in my car giving you guys updates. But yesterday was Sunday. It was the last day of my Provera. So I took that for 10 days and I have not started my cycle yet. Um, generally, it doesn't start the same day as or it doesn't start the last day. Um, I think I mentioned this before. Sometimes it takes two days. Sometimes it takes a week. Sometimes it could take two weeks. So I was a little disappointed though because last time I took it, I started it on the 10th day. And then when I need it or when I'm you know anxious for it to start on the 10th day, it doesn't start on the 10th day. So that was yesterday. Today is the 11th day. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting. I didn't take it today, of course. I the last yesterday was my last dose. But I'm just waiting for my cycle to come on and when it does, I will call the doctor and we will get started with the letrozole. But um yeah, we will get started with the letrozole and we will be on our way. So we are just playing the waiting game right now. Fingers crossed it does not take 2 weeks for me to start my cycle because I'm just gonna be my life's gonna be in shambles the whole two weeks trying to figure out you know when I'm gonna start it but anyways I bought my whole pack of um uh girl products and a box because last time I went through a whole pack and needed a whole well not a whole another pack but you know half of another pack so I'm prepared I'm ready just wanted to let you guys know what's going on I haven't posted a video in a while I may go ahead and just post these two little clips together because 
you know, I don't want y'all to think I'm incognito. I'm just don't have a lot of stuff going on right now. We're just kind of in a waiting game. So that's about it. Today is Monday. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Monday. Mine started off a little rocky, but I went and got a pedicure. I clocked out of work early and now I'm about to eat Olive Garden. So we are turning it around. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. I know my voice sounds ratchet. Hopefully my face isn't too messed up. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Sorry if that's TMI, but I started my cycle this morning. It's the next day. Yesterday, y'all saw me in the car at Olive Garden. So the next morning, and it's like 6.58, 7 o'clock. So I started. So I'm going to contact the doctor, um, email her, and let her know so we can get started with the stuff. Raise the roof. Have a good productive week. Today's Tuesday. Go after it. I'll keep y'all updated. Hey guys. So today is um, Wednesday. Yesterday I think that's the clip where I was in the bathroom and had started. So um, it kind of got really heavy last night. So that's good. Because um, uh, the doctor wants you to call him when it's like full blown. I don't know if that's the right terminology. When it's the first full flow, um, not just spotting like the first day normally is. So that was good to know. But anyways, I called the doctor and they, excuse me, got us an appointment for tomorrow, which is Thursday. So two days later, which was good because I think the letrozole has to be started on the third day of the cycle. So hopefully Thursday, fingers crossed, everything goes as planned and we can start it then. Um, also they sent me and Jordan an email with like nine videos to watch I think they're like 45 minutes all together so we have to watch that before we can go to the appointment and then sign off on some paperwork um, I, I think the videos are kind of teaching us maybe about how to do the trigger shots what the risks are and um, just more about the treatment process as a whole so that's where we're at now and we will take you guys along with us tomorrow so on your busy stock bridge into ellenwood 75 days through sunday he's just download coupon on the app or at kroger.com kroger Hey guys, so hopefully you can see me okay. It feels, looks like half of my head is cut off. But I am at CVS. Today has been... Mm, almost bit my tongue. Today has been an eventful day. So Jaden graduated from pre-K. Um, I will try to insert a picture of him because he was just so cute with his little sunglasses on. <laughs> But he graduated pre-K today. Um, he's with Jordan right now. And I'm at CVS um, picking up my prescription for letrozole. Um, it wasn't ready. Um, she said she didn't have all the information. So now she's filling the prescription and said to give her about 10 minutes. So I thought this was the perfect time to come up and kind of update you guys. Um, this morning, I don't know if I said a lot or if I just kind of showed clips of stuff. But... This morning, Jordan and I went to the doctor. Um, they did a baseline test or baseline ultrasound where they just kind of went in there. They saw how my ovaries looked right now before the medication. And then next Friday, today's Thursday, so next Friday, um, a day over a week, they're going to see how I reacted to the medication. And then they said that once um, I come in for that second ultrasound next week, they're going to do the trigger shot so they've already called that in it actually gets shipped to my home so fingers crossed that you know everything goes as planned um if it takes another round it takes another round but you know we would really like for it to happen this round so as would any mom or you know any woman so yeah that's about it 
all right guys so i just got the letrozole and i'm taking it for five days and it was three dollars so yay me no insurance um but that's it so <laughs> i'm really gonna go home now and take the medicine i'm so excited we're starting the actual treatment it took us a few months to get here i never thought this was gonna happen but it did so i'm gonna put my phone down because i'm in georgia and y'all know i can't hold it while i'm driving so peace i'll talk to you guys later for real for real this time Hey guys. Say hey JJ. You got an attitude, y'all. He um, wanted to, he said we're not letting him do nothing in the car, but there's nothing to do but to sit there and ride. So we are on our way to the jazz festival. Um, I don't know where I'm going to include this video. I probably won't get a lot of footage, so I'll probably just include it in my TTC update. But um, we just got to get out of the house. We got to do something. I got to get my mind off of what's going on. And that's about it. So we're still waiting on Jordan. Um, he went back in the store to get, ooh, y'all my hair, I need to do either like an up like this. Yeah, I think that looks better. Yeah, something like that. But Jordan is back in the store um, getting some drinks and then we're on our way. We're already late, my friend was waiting on us. We told her we'd be there at four, it's 4.53 and we're still not there. But at least we're downtown, so we're almost there. All right, guys, so we're out here at the Jazz Festival. We're at um, Piedmont Park, and Jordan took Jaden to play on the bouncy stuff. So, um, I'm going to try to turn the camera around and show y'all. So he's way over there. And it's just us. There's Keisha. We got our little snacks. Our little cooler of stuff. And we're just chilling. It's Sunday, so we have two more days. It's Sunday, we have two more days for um, my pill. I brought my pill with me. Tomorrow's the last day and then we should have something. So I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm gonna keep my mind off of it and just enjoy the music and the scenery. Good morning guys. So my stomach hurts really bad right now. Um, I have really bad cramps at the bottom. At first I thought I just had to um, use the bathroom, but that didn't help. So I'm pretty sure it's the lectures all. Um, I don't know if it takes effect this fast. Today is the last day I've been taking my pill at nighttime. Um, that's when they told me to take it. So at eight o'clock, um, is when I'll take my last dose. Um, but I don't know if it takes effect this early where you can actually feel the, what am I trying to say? The follicles maturing. Like I'm getting a bad cramp right now. Like it hurts steady. Like all morning it's been hurting. And then there's times where it just gets really, really hard. Like right now, it's just getting really tightening. But it hurts really bad right now. It's kind of like it takes the breath out of you. That's how hard it hurts. Yeah, it makes me feel like I gotta use the bathroom or something. I haven't felt anything the entire time I've been taking the Letrozole. No symptoms until right now. And I haven't taken the last dose, so. So today's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Enjoy your families. I'm talking a little quiet because I don't want Jaden to know that I'm recording and then come out in the middle of the video. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what we're doing today. We'll probably find a pool to get into, um, cook some food, and just chill out. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to say hi to you guys, give you an update, and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.